So this one we're going to be creating a slide using Google Apps script. So the initial slide is going to have a text box. So we're going to duplicate that slide. And then we're going to get a chart that's sitting within a Google spreadsheet. So this chart over here. And with Google Apps script, we're going to insert the chart into the first slide. Let's go ahead and we're going to create a function. And what this function is going to do is it's going to make a slides presentation. So just call it make slides. And then within the function, the first thing that we want to do is we want to get the slide object. So creating a presentation, a slide presentation. So let's create a title variable. And this is going to be just the name of the slide object. So just give it a string value there. And then we want to select the slide presentation. So we can just call it the slides and using the slides app and then whatever we have for the title. So it just requires one parameter there, which is going to be the string. And then we can add in each slide into the slides presentation. So adding it into slides and then we get the slides. So it'll automatically by default create a first slide. So this is going to be the first slide that we have within the sl slide presentation. So getting the slides and then within this slide, we can insert a text box. And for the text box, we just need to have a string value. And we already have one here. So we can go ahead and we'll create the slides and we'll insert a text box into the slide. So go ahead and run the code. We need to accept the permissions first time that we're running in order for the app script in order to, to be able to access the slides app service and then also create the slide. So once you accept the permissions, it'll run through the script. There's our slide that it just created. And when we open that up, there's our text box that it's added in. So we can also add additional slides into it as well. And we can also select insert update the slides that are currently within a slide. So if we wanted to add a new slide or we want to duplicate the slide. So let's do that. We'll create a slide two. And then using the duplicate, we're going to select the slide that we want to duplicate and then use the slide. So take the slide object and duplicate the slide. So that will create a second slide. So let's run that again, go back into the drive. It'll create a second slide. And then this one will have two slides, which are a duplicate of the first one. You can also update existing slides as well. So we just need to have the slide ID. So up slides and for here we're going to have to have an ID value for the slide file. And here we can select the one that one of them that we just created. You can go into the web URL and select the ID here at the top within the uh, slide URL. And then let's uh, select the slides object. So doing the slide slide app. And then we can open by ID. And then this is where we use the ID. So once we've got the same slides object, we're ready to add slides to it. So we can get the first slide from a spreadsheet. So we've got a table within the spreadsheet. So let's uh, grab our spreadsheet ID. And we're going to take this table and we're going to insert it to, into the slide. So take the spreadsheet ID. And we're going to need that in order to identify the spreadsheet. And let's uh, then select the sheet object. So using the spreadsheet app service and open by ID. That's where we use our spreadsheet app. And then we want to get a sheet. So get the sheet by name and the name of the sheet was data. So that's going to give us our sheet that's going to be holding the chart that we want to insert. And then let's uh, next, we want to select the chart object from the sheet. So it's just selected as chart and then from within the sheet, we can get the charts. So it's going to return back an array of the charts. And if we only want the first one and within the logger, let's make sure that we do have a chart object value there so that we're ready to do the insert. So it's got an embedded chart. So that's what you want to see before you try to insert it, make sure that it is there as an object. And then now we can take our slide one and use the insert and we want to insert a sheets chart as image and then take the chart object that we just selected. 
So run the code. And there's our chart that now we've brought in from our Google Sheet. And we've added it in as part of one of the slides within the Google presentation. And there's a number of things that you can do in order to build the slides. So this was just the basics in order to create slides and then select the slides and make updates to them.